some heat in the motor, getting ready to go. You ready? Your Let's first like dude. actual drive? Yeah. All right. Rocky Mountain Race Week, day two, coming up. Headed from Norman, Oklahoma, Oklahoma City, all the way down to Ennis, Texas, at Texas Motor Flex. Let's go. There it is folks, Texas Motorplex. So day number two here at Texas Motorplex, pitted right up front, right over here. We are happy to make it. The drive went great, the truck did awesome. I'm, I'm super gun shy about everything. I think last year just has me on pins and needles, but so far so good. Everything's been rocking right along and we're happy to be here for day number two, Rocky Mountain Race Week. Buddy, you putting a spit shine on her? That's worth a tenth right there. All these stickers, we got at least an extra hundred. Oh yeah. Yeah, we showed up here with 740 horsepower, but that's closer to 800. That's closer to, oh my God, we're, we're pushing over a thousand. You see all these bad boys? We don't even need a turbo on this thing anymore. Yeah, we run this thing all motor, a thousand easy. No worries. Okay, so I know I made the fan jokes earlier, but there's actually one right there. Check him out. Woo. Fast number two, come on. We gotta get better, we got to get better.
those 10, 10 28. 28. How I'll about take a couple it. of CTSV? Woo! We spun again, but dang, felt pretty good. Uh, we realized on the first pass, I had adjusted my CO2 regulator too low, and that's why it was slow. I didn't realize it didn't make any boost because there was no CO2 to be able to put on it. So that was the same exact tune-up right there as the first pass, but the first pass, I realized that we had adjusted the CO2 regulator regulator maybe a little too low. So we uh, we bumped that up back where it's supposed to be, and it, it, uh, it definitely felt a little spicier. It, Mark the tires pretty hard right there. Um, we're still chasing this fuel pressure issue, so we'll check and see what the time slip tells us. Oh, buddy, okay, way better, way, way better. Even still with the big tire spin, we want a 15760 foot, so we, uh, we're we getting there. Um, the truck has been bottom 40s. We just gotta find out what it needs to get there with this different converter and stuff. We want a 657.8 at 106. We want a 1028 at 131. So that mile an hour is exactly what we done last night. So that tells me the tune. Tells me the tune is back dialed. We just gotta get this jiggy, uh, this baby to hook, and we'll be we'll be blasting on through there, man. So 1028, big improvement. Oh, I feel a lot better. I was I was sitting a little bit stressed after that 1080. So 1028, not so bad. I think that's probably officially the fastest. Uh, quarter mile pass it's ever made on paper so 657 8 we've been a tenth bit faster than that if we can get that in here we'll uh we'll be in business boys oh so looking at this data guys the truck is is pretty happy it, it would be so happy to go faster if we just had the fuel pressure we needed to get there but we have been scratching our heads running trailer to trailer motion race works finally showed up no one has exactly what we need um to uh to kind of feasibly make more fuel pressure here we've we've basically isolated the pumps we've ran them up on pressure we've tested them we've tested that and it's just uh it's a bit of a head scratcher but hey 1028 much much better than the 44 we ran and definitely much better than the 80 something we ran before that but if we can put our hands on a little bit of fuel pressure, I think we can get to that 10-0. Um, ah, just a little frustrating. But hey, it's race week. You're, you're limited. You gotta find. You gotta find solutions. You gotta find find answers to problems that you didn't know you were gonna have. This is just one of those things. It's just one of those things that we're gonna chip away at as the week goes. So with no real solution to the fuel pressure problem, I think we're gonna call it a night on the two passes, the 1028. That's what we're turning in tonight. Massive improvement from yesterday. Still room on the table for some improvement uh, as we go on in the week. But I think that we're, uh, you know, we're gonna call it a night, pack it up, go get some food, go get some sleep and get after it tomorrow because tomorrow is a long drive. So the sooner we can get our bellies full, the sooner we can get in bed, the sooner we can get on the road tomorrow. So sound like a plan, man? So. All right, we're going to back up, head to the room, hang out and watch. guys so that's gonna do it i'm digging 71 thanks for watching day two at rocky mountain race week keep digging we'll see you next time